JJ Shiner, today we're doing the Outlaw Burger, a mixture of venison and pork. All put together with a Big Tex Rubble Rub, our side dishes are going to be baked potatoes and roasted carrots. We're doing everything on the grill, 100% all grilled up. Alright, barbecue potatoes, baked potatoes basically. All you're doing is get yourself some nice potatoes, you can pierce them a couple times, make sure they don't explode on you, wrap them in tin foil, and what I do is put them directly on the coals on the barbecue. A lot of people tend to put them up on the grates. To me, it takes a little bit longer for them to cook that way. And if you put them directly on top of the coals, you get a more of a charred outside on the potatoes, and it comes out a lot softer in the middle of it. And the roasted carrot dish, simple dish to make. All it is is four carrots, an onion, some garlic, a little bit of oil. You slice them all up, put them on a little pan with a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. And what happens is everything cooks together, and you get a nice little garlic onion flavor into the carrots, plus the smoke from the barbecue gives you that smoky flavor to everything. Great dish to go with almost anything. Uh, if you want to make it a little hotter, throw in a couple jalapeno peppers, or if you're looking more of a sweet, throw some bell peppers or get yourself some sweet peppers and um, add it to the dish. And it, it's a great little simple dish to make on the side when you're camping or you're out tailgating um, or at home just hanging out in the backyard. The venison we're using today was given to us by William. William's 10 years old and last September, him and his dad went out in Amador City up in Amador County, put this deer down with a bow and arrow. That is crazy to think we be doing that at 10. What I was doing at 10 wasn't shooting bow and arrows and putting deer down. I want to thank you, William, for letting us use the venison. Venison is a very lean animal. Not too many fat deer walking around. Uh, so basically what you got to do is you got to mix in a little bit of pork fat back. We got about 25% pork fat in with the venison. That just keeps it all together. The breadcrumbs, the gluten in the bread, uh, gives you a little extra glue. Keep everything together. Keep, keep it all from falling apart on the grill and turn it into venison crumbs, you know. I just like to get a nice little fine chop. About a fourth a cup of breadcrumbs. And like I was saying before, I use I use about two tablespoons. As you can tell, I don't <laughs> I'm not measuring out. So I'm about two to three tablespoons of Big Tex rubble rub. Then mix it all together. Alright, now we got everything kind of incorporated all together. I can see my garlic chunks hanging out in there. And then what I'm doing is I only, only need to make two. use a hamburger press want to get your hands dirty I like to be touching when I'm cooking all hands on you know make a nice little nice patty out of it and the trick is a lot of people don't know how to keep the middles the outside burning with the middles cooking all the way through and what you gotta do is you gotta put a divot in the middle of your patty and when you do that the middle is gonna cook about the same time as the outside so you're not going to burn the outside and it's all going to cook evenly so it's a pretty good size patty right there do it for the other one yeah. all right we got the venison patties we used about two to three tablespoons of the big tech rubble rub inside the mixture and then i'm also i sprinkle some on top of it and push it into the meat um, after it was done and let it sit uh, for about five six minutes and just to ensure we get that bold flavor of the big tech rubble rub and we're going to put it on the grill next to our roasting carrots which is, i've been on there for about 15 minutes um, I cut them a little bit thicker than normal, so I actually had to let them go a few minutes longer. Uh, I would spray down my grill so so our uh, patties don't stick and come off all nice and easy. You can use uh, vegetable oil if you want to. I prefer uh, the non-flare up spray, a little bit easier. And then I got my big thick patty right here. And then my wife's little smaller patty on the side. And again, I put an indention inside the middle of the patty so it cooks up about the same time as the rest of the patties do. I put them kind of to the side, not directly over the heat, um, just because I think my carrots got a few, much, few minutes longer than the rest of it stuff. So I put the lid on. And then you want that to cook up for about six, seven minutes on each side, and then flip it as needed. And uh, we'll take everything off, put it on the plate, and serve it up for dinner. So our vegetables, our carrots are nice and roasted. They got a nice gold color to them. A little charred a little bit, but that's perfect. Can't forget the potatoes, so we'll overcook those bad boys. Take those out. And I'm using my handy dandy up glove, because you know, barbecue stuff's really hot. Up glove always comes in handy to have. And while I'm plating, getting the potatoes ready and all that, I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna take these, uh, the buns and 
put them on the grill for a few minutes to get a nice little toasty. You see the potatoes? Perfect. Got a little bit charred on the areas that actually touched the grill or touched the um, wood chunks in there. But cut right through them like butter. Look at that. Comes out real nice. Get myself the bigger one. Here's one for the lovely wife. And our buns are probably done. They've been on there for a few minutes. So we're probably got a nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And on mine, we're putting Sierra Nevada Pale L. A little bit of horseradish, just give it a little extra kick. And as you can tell, I'm not putting any tomatoes, I'm not putting any lettuce on there. Not really my thing. I like, uh, if I wanted lettuce, I'd get a salad. bell peppers on top with our onions and then right there you got an amateur county outlaw venison burger right there ready to go put them on the plates and serve All right here we go we got our venison burgers with our roasted carrots our barbecued baked potatoes I got my beautiful wife and my son Kyle all ready here to enjoy some venison my wife requested that I cut her uh, cut her burger a little bit for such a big patty and all but yeah check that out gonna be a close shot of that nice and juicy right there take a big old bite of that That was one good outlaw burger right there. Good. good job. Especially with the Sierra Nevada mustard mixed in with that. <laughs> Gives it a phenomenal flavor. Yeah. Big Tex Rubble Rub. Venison from William from Amador County. One heck of a burger. Outlaw Burger. Check out MoonshineBands.com. NorCalBarbecue.com. Have you guys a shiner day. <laughs>